But overall here, right, I, I mean, another thing that CPAC did was they refused to invite GeoProud, which is a gay conservative organization. And this made a splash, actually, because Chris Hayes, a prominent liberal commentator and writer, reporter, host of Up With Chris Hayes on MSNBC, said, was invited actually to speak on, on a multi-partisan panel in, in his capacity as a progressive. And he then turned down the invitation on the grounds that Geo Proud had been disinvited. Now, obviously, most conservatives don't really care what Chris Hayes thinks, but it seems like, you know, we, Francesca, can, can, this seems like a really dumb move, just objectively. Well, again, you know, you have to look at it from the standpoint of the fact that it's a very conservative conference, and I personally, I just want to say, don't agree with them not uh, inviting GoProud. It's not so much that GoProud was disinvited, it's that they just weren't invited at all, as they haven't been for several years. But again, um, while I personally think that it was a terrible idea, from the standpoint of a lot of conservatives, they just fundamentally don't see how you can be a conservative and also be gay because of the social issues and the religious issues involved in that. But again, personally, I would agree that it was really dumb to not invite them. But there's a lot of inside baseball that's going out, going on with these decisions. You have to also understand that some of the major conservative organizations that pay for CPAC, and by pay for it, I mean really, they're the ones who are footing most of the bill, have said quietly behind doors a lot of times that if certain groups like that uh, are invited, then they won't come. And at the point in which a major group pulls out, just one of them, it makes it really hard uh, for CPAC to happen because it's so expensive. And, and you can't really charge the attendees more because it's already incredibly expensive to attend this conference. So there's just a lot of issues at work, I think, that are inside baseball. And quite honestly, at the end of the day, I'm not sure how much it really matters whether Chris Christie was invited, whether Go Proud was invited or not. All this drama surrounding it, because I think most people. Like spin to me. I mean, look, Francesca, I'm I'm glad you're putting, you know, admitting basically that that these things, you know, the, it's a, it's a dark real politique world out there. People fund things, and right. you know, you're accountable in a lot of ways to your funders, but that just makes the conflict all the more explicit, in my opinion, that. The Republican Party is tying itself, the, the conservative movement is tying itself in knots that if you can't stand down the social conservative extremists, if you can't, if, if, a, if a moderate, whether even if it's symbolically is being, is being sort of rejected or, or banished, and this is the, the, the appropriate forum uh, for the, this is the, the sort of main forum, regardless where candidates go to, to shore up their cred with, with the grassroots, how is the Republican Party ever going to win again? Well, the reason I was going to say that it doesn't matter that much is because this is a conference for diehard grassroots movement conservatives. I don't think most people in America know what CPAC is, care what CPAC is, and who spoke at CPAC, you know, when it comes around to voting in presidential elections. And that's all I meant by the fact that it probably doesn't matter at the end of the day. And quite honestly, it's probably great for Chris Christie because now he can say, like, well, you know, look, I'm not even that conservative and they don't think so. This probably does actually helps him win the Republican presidential nomination more than it hurts him, in my opinion, and helps him win the election, too. All right, Francesca, quickly, we've got one minute left. If you can just briefly, briefly tell me what, what's this, what, is, what issue do conservatives, what are they going to take the lead on? Where, where are the American people going to switch their sides? 30 seconds. Um. You know, that's a good question coming into the future. I, I don't actually know the answer to that question. And that sounds terrible. But I mean, for Democrats, clearly, you know, they're going after gun control. I think Republicans are just going to keep hammering on the economy and hope that, you know, the dollar and the how much Americans have in their pockets went out at the end of the day. Francesca Chambers, she's the editor of Red Alert Politics. You can follow her on Twitter at Fran underscore Chambers at Red Alert on Twitter. She's an up and coming Young conservative journalist in Washington, D.C. Francesca, thanks for joining us. Okay. And coming up next on Take Action News, we're going to hear from Alan Rosenblatt about social media. Stay tuned.